Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Uh, first off, I just want to say hi to all of my new subscribers. I've uh, had quite a few joins since 1.5 came out. Um, and I think that's quite uh, another reason why I'm kind of making this video because I've had a lot of questions uh, asked along the same lines and how I can actually combine uh, all, the, uh, all the players in a team's score to get a overall total of the team kills okay so basically this is it i've um created a little very quick very very quick map that kind of explains how it all works and yes the map will be down in the uh, in the link to download so go download it and go check it out um yeah so right so basically what's happening is i've got a few players here that's uh, helping me out i've got uh, i'm not even gonna try uh, psychosis BCJC and I've got Martin Johnson and I've got Rusty Gold. So thanks guys for helping me out with this. So um, you'll no notice a number of things on my screen. On the right hand side, you'll see that it's swapping between kills. So this is the person's personal kill. Okay. And it swaps between the team kills. So you'll see everybody on the same team has so under team kills everybody that's on the same team has exactly the same score so because this is the the aggregate of the team then you'll see under kills it's the individual scores for each person how many they've actually killed okay i've not killed any so that's probably why so let me i'm not on here so let me let me let me kill let me just give one kill let me just get a kill here so that i can just get, be on the score as well um why aren't you spawning now are you scared of me now Huh? Okay, there we go. That should be enough for just one kill. Just that I'm on the board as well. Okay, there we go. So you'll see I'm now on the board as well. Right, so how this works is the first, this sets up, so these uh, four command blocks on this side sets up the various objectives. Now there's, th uh, there's really four objectives, right? So the first objective is... Um, is the PL kills, which is this the PL kills is the name I am using, which is short for player kills. And the objective is total kill count. So whether they kill each other or whether they kill zombies, they'll get one point for whatever kill it is. Okay, so this is the player kill count. Now I'm going to be using this as the base for the whole calculation. Okay. So this however, that total kill count is not what you see on the right hand side over here. Okay, this is a different one. Then we have player score, which is the kills you see on the right hand side. So this is just a dummy variable that I've just called kills. Okay, so it's just a dummy variable. And then I've got another dummy variable called team kills. Okay, which is what you see on the right hand side there. So team kills is an aggregate. And this over here really just resets the scores. So it, you'll see, for example, this just removes all of the objectives. So the objectives that we add over here is just removed over here. So this is the best way I found to actually remove people's scores. So if you see, look at the right hand side. When I hit this, it will reset everything. Okay. There we go. So you see now we've reset. Because what basically happens is when I hit the button, it removes all of the, uh, ver the all of the objectives, and then at the bottom it then just adds all of the object ob objectives again. Okay. So once we've got our ob objectives set up, I had to set up the various teams. So this is just setting up the red team, and this sets up the red team's color. So you see on the right hand side you've got the color there. That's the red team's color. That, that's just basically set up for that. And then this over here, the third thing you need to build is where the magic happens. Okay, so this is what I would like to call the team kill aggregator. So it takes the kills, so it takes the PL kill, so the total kill count of every single person on the team, um, and then adds it together in real time. Okay, so the first thing you'll see here is I've got a clock running. Okay, that's running this command block, which is a test for. So this test for just sees if any player has has a kill to their name that is in the red team. So score underscore PL kills underscore minimum equals one. So you need to have at least one kill and need to be in the red team for this to activate. Once it activates, it actually turns off this redstone torch, which then starts this clock over here. Now what this clock does is... the when this redstone torch is deactivated, 
this command block over here will be the first one to be activated. So this is kind of important. So what this command block does, it actually adds one kill, one kill to the kills um, objective. So on the right hand side where you see player score uh, or player kills, this is what you, you are seeing. So it's a dummy variable. Okay, so that's what you see. So um, the first thing this does, as long as I have at least one kill, it'll and I'm in the red team, it'll add one one to my kills total. Then the next thing it does, it adds, if I'm in the red team, it adds one to the team kills um, objective. So this is where, regardless of, of if I've killed something or not, if somebody in my team has killed, I will get one point. Right, so this is on the right hand side. Um, let me just see... Why are they not going? Okay, go kill. Okay, sorry, let me just get them going there again. All right. So um, on the right-hand side, once they start killing, uh, there we go. You'll start seeing, there we go. So this kills is the kill score on the right-hand side you see over here. Okay, and you'll see that'll go up. And you'll, you'll also notice that everybody that's in the same team will have exactly the same amount of team kills. So you'll see Martin Johnson has f has, uh, has four kills plus Psychosis' is one kill makes it five. Right, but here you can see the individual kills as well. Okay, and then the last thing, so this is the first one that fires off which adds one to my personal kills. This one then fires off which adds one to this to the whole team's kills. And then this one here removes that one kill. So I'm basically paying um, the, the, my, my, my total kill count, I'm paying one to get this all going. I don't know, I might be confusing you guys with this, but I'm confusing myself. So this just removes um, this variable over here, one from this variable. Okay, and then the same thing is just happening to, exactly the same happening to the green. Now if we stand here for a while, you'll see this all working and flashing and, and doing its thing as they're killing. Okay, there we go. You see that one just went off, and that one just went off. Okay, so that's the f this the one thing. And then the last thing, I've set this up right in the beginning for the first team to reach 20. It'll give us a warning at the bottom here that says, congratulations, you won. The red team won or the green team won, which is, seems to be the green team's going to win. Okay, so we're on 18. We'll see this all happening right here now. So I'm just going to quickly wait for this to happen. 19... And there we go. Okay, and then you'll see on, on the bottom here it says red team wins and you'll see everybody has been teleported back to the staging area. So basically what happens here, I've got two command blocks set up that tests, um, tests for, t so it tests if a team equals red and the score of team kills is at least 20. So the moment it hits 20, it activates this command block, which then blocks or locks so that the green team can't be declared the winners. And it then just flags this command block that just says red team wins. And then this command block that just teleports everybody out. And it works exactly the same for the green team. Okay. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's really it. I mean, if I have a feeling I confuse myself, so you might be confused by this as well. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this off with me joining the fray and um yeah have fun right and there we go oops this is difficult right yay okay and you'll see i've got a potion effect on going on here as well what that basically is is um see i can actually kill these people as well so what that actually is is the uh <laughs> night vision potion <laughs> that's that's happening um so it's just because I've got to set this all to night and then just added a night vision potion for everybody. Okay, so uh, how am I doing? We've got a team of five. Whoa, okay. Um, team kills. The red team is in the lead. Um, okay, it gets a bit confused sometimes. So, okay, so maybe this time we can win. Yay, there's a villager. Ugh. He probably sold me some dodgy goods at one stage. Okay. Um, woo. And so green is 
Yay, the green is in the lead. Okay. Ah. I'm not terrible at this. Okay, 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 okay. So I've got five kills. I've got five kills. It's it's kind of getting... Uh, who's now <laughs> stealing the kills from each other? Okay, 13. It's actually not, it's actually not too bad a little mini game. It's actually kind of fun. Um, especially if you kind of PvP. PvP. Woo. <laughs> okay, Martin's got me. Um, oh, they've got my... Ah, I'm stuck over here now. Uh, game mode zero T one. Okay, so let me just get PC. Okay, cool, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, the green team won, yay! And uh, yeah, well. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Always much, much appreciated. And I'll try and answer as many questions as I, as I can. But it's quite often quite difficult. Let me just click. Okay, cool, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will catch you all later.